imagine living like this? You wanted to have a little baby? Have it in the street. Then one day, a twist of fate, a terrible accident. And you wake up to this. Oh, my God. I'm Bill. He's rich. Let's ask the servants. He's beautiful. Could you elaborate? Real beautiful. He's suspicious. He's hiding something. He's straight. Is that a derogatory term? And he's falling in love. Brendan Fraser, Oscar winner Shirley MacLaine, and Ricky Lake in the romantic comedy Mrs. Winterbourne, Friday. Jamie High Fire smashing prices on Jamiroquai. The kings of 21st century funk are back. And their latest album, A Punk Odyssey, featuring the hit single Little L, is about to blow the charts apart. Especially with the strictly limited edition bonus CD thrown in at JB Hi-Fi. They're open till 9pm weekdays. JB, done it again. Hello, Sydney here from the new look Sydney Lounges and Bedding. Did you know that Sydney Lounges has one of the largest range of leather lounges in Melbourne? All at Sydney's famous discounted prices. The recliner suites start at $19.99. And there's the Dino suite at $23.99. The Bathurst recliner suite at $2,999. Or the Presco 100% cow leather, only $3,299. With 12 great locations, we have a leather lounge to suit you. And pay only $10 deposit with one, two or three years to pay. It's on this weekend, Gary McMillan Toyota's Festival of Savings. More than 300 vehicles, everyone discounted to sell this weekend. New Toyotas from $14,990. Used cars from $7,000. All with a 15-month warranty. New and used four-wheel drives, all dramatically discounted. All at Gary McMillan Toyota, just up the high street in Preston, where Gary says, I won't be beaten. Advanced Hair Studio has now discovered an answer to hair loss. Now that's a fact. In a recent clinical trial, Advanced Hair Studio actually regrew new hair within four months in 72% of men. Call now. Come on. So fresh, the real hits of spring 2001. So fresh. If you want the real hits of spring, you need so fresh. Sandra Sully here at Network 10 with this breaking story tonight. Terrorist attacks across the United States, at least down the eastern seaboard. Our reporter on the ground in Washington, Deb Knight, has just checked in with us. She's confirmed they are evacuating the building that she is currently in. A car bomb has just exploded outside the state building in Washington, which is several blocks from the Pentagon and also the White House. You can see there pictures from both scenes of uh, terrorist attacks. New York City, as we mentioned earlier today, at 10 minutes to 9 Eastern Standard Time in New York City, two planes within a 20-minute period crashing into the World Trade Center. You can see the vision there of that second plane. Witnesses, as I've mentioned several times before, describing it, describing it as a kamikaze attack. Within an hour, less than an hour, one of the towers started to topple down onto the streets. Within an hour, a terrorist attack again on the Pentagon, this time in Washington. Since then, the White House has been evacuated and we have confirmed, initially we thought, earlier reports indicated it may have been a helicopter that was seen by eyewitnesses circling the Pentagon, but sources are now confirming a third plane did career into the Pentagon. Aviation across the United States has been ground to a halt. The Prime Minister currently of Australia is in Washington and we're not sure yet exactly when he may well be free. As you can imagine, all world leaders currently in the United States and it's been a fairly busy time. In, uh, the, in recent periods, uh, there's massive security cordon, cordons in place. The former President of the United States is currently touring Australia at the moment and significant security has uh, been increased around him and he is currently travelling in northern Queensland. So just confirming, still no idea on casualties, um, but there is I'm sorry, it does appear that we have Deb Knight again on the streets of Washington. Deb, are you with us? Yes, Sandra, I am here. Listen, what can you tell us about this car bomb on the state building? OK, the building that I am in, which literally is, um, you know, a, a block away from the White House, is about to be evacuated. So if I drop off here at any moment, it's because I'm going to have to leave. Basically, as I was on the phone to you about, about 
10 minutes ago or a few moments ago I heard a, a, a very loud explosion which came from the direction of the White House of Capitol Hill. We weren't sure what that was. We've just found out that a car bomb has exploded outside the state building in Washington which is itself a few blocks from Deb, the just, White House. Just interrupting you momentarily, the second tower of the World Trade Center is currently collapsing. This is absolutely extraordinary pictures we're watching here now. You can see large pieces um, of the building just, falling. Uh, you can see the smoke rising. You can see a portion of the, the, the side of the building now just being covered on the right side, as I look at it, covered in smoke. This is just a horrific scene and a horrific moment. The president, who is in Florida today, is en route back to the White House. He took off. A short time ago, the White House itself has been evacuated on the basis of what the Secret Service says was a credible threat on the mansion itself. We believe now that we can say that both, that portions of both towers of the World Trade Center have collapsed. Whether there were second explosions, that is to say explosions other than the planes hitting them that caused this to happen, we cannot tell you. Rose Arce, one of our CNN producers, is on the phone. Rose, what yes. do you got? I'm about a block away, and there were several people that were hanging out the windows right below where the plane crashed, when suddenly you saw the top of the building start to shake, and people began leaping from the windows in the north side of the building. You saw two people at first plummet, and then a third one, and then the entire top of the building just blew up, and splinters of debris are falling on the street. Where I'm right now, there's a thick plume of smoke, and you can see crowds of people, including emergency service workers and police officers, running from the scene, screaming. And, and there's, a, there's a school nearby where there were kids in the schoolyard. That has been emptied out, and they're running up the street now, too. The, the whole sort of the neighborhood, I'd say several blocks up, is covered by this almost powdery smoke, little tiny pieces of building you can see just floating in the, in the wind around it. It's almost as if like a huge cloud had, had kind of enveloped that part of lower Manhattan. Uh, it is just one of those awful moments that you need to look at for a minute or two to absorb exactly what has happened. Two of the most recognizable buildings in the city of New York have been attacked, and both of them appear to have collapsed, at least well, is, yeah, in part. Like the second of the two collapses taking place just a moment or so ago, perhaps two or three minutes ago. There are also apparently coordinated... We're just cutting back into the CNN live coverage. We'd like to show you again this extraordinary vision moments ago, the second tower of the World Trade Center apparently tumbling and collapsing onto the streets of Manhattan. Absolutely horrific, horrendous scenes in the United States. Just hang with us, you will see the second tower. This is within about two hours of the first plane crash into this one tower. Eyewitnesses on the ground were saying just prior to this vision, they saw people leaping from windows, screaming for help, as you can imagine, emergency crews desperately trying to assist people in any way they can. Teams on the ground there, unfortunately, somewhat used to this sort of episode. Don't forget, 1993, this very precinct was the target of a terrorist attack where six people were killed and members of a Palestinian uh, uprising and um, a protest group did claim responsibility. Again, today, we can confirm... Apologies there, we are getting reports. Another explosion may well have hit just near the Trade Centre. In terms of uh, terrorist attacks, we can confirm Middle Eastern television, in fact, Abu Dhabi television, is confirming that or claiming that they have received a call from a Palestinian group claiming responsibility for these attacks. Thick plumes of smoke rising there from what was the World Trade Centre a significant precinct in the area, a block or two away from the New York Stock Exchange. New York is being evacuated. Washington is being shut down. The entire United States is in a scene of mass chaos and pandemonium. Stay with us here on 10. We'll bring you the latest.
premiering Sunday. What if death paid you a visit? You do. Yes. And fell in love with your daughter. You like him, don't you? Easy, Bill. You give yourself a heart attack and ruin my vacation. Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins, in a romance beyond heaven and earth. I love him. I don't care if you love him. What I want is Susan. You're violating the laws of the universe. Tim's breathtaking premiere. The time has come to tell you who I am. John Frey. Meet Joe Black, 8.30 Sunday. No time to work out? Fed up with exercise videos that become so repetitive? Tired of ad products that force you onto the floor? The future of fitness is finally here. Introducing the amazing Abtronic Fitness System from Danos Direct. Get ready to firm tone and tighten your upper abs, lower abs, and love handles with no sweat. Abtronic is safe and simple to use. You control the 10 intensity levels and choose from six exercise programs. Watch as your ab muscles contract as if you're doing the sit-up. Your muscles are moving, but you're not. Use Abtronic to work out while watching TV, shopping, working, walking, anywhere, anytime. 10 minutes on the Abtronic is equivalent to up to 600 sit-ups. And because there are no wires or pads, it's easy to wear the Abtronic under your clothes. The amazing Abtronic fitness system is only available through this special TV offer from Danos Direct. Get the results you've been searching for and call 1-800-808-938 now. Other electronic machines sell for as much as $600, but the Abtronic fitness system is available to you for only four easy payments of $55 plus postage and handling. But for a limited time, you can purchase the Abtronic for only three easy payments of $55 plus postage and handling that's one full payment off the normal price order now and you'll receive this comprehensive abtronic instruction manual plus you get the exclusive abtronic advanced weight loss guide that offers you an eating plan that'll make you slim and trim as well as two lithium batteries all valued at thirty dollars but yours free and remember abtronic is a powerful machine so follow the instructions carefully and get the results and when you pay by credit card you'll also receive this handy traveling bag valued at twenty dollars absolutely free when you take advantage of this special offer, we'll send you at no extra charge a second shorter belt to use on your thighs or arms. So call Danos Direct now on 1-800-808-938 or check out the Abtronic Fitness System as well as hundreds of other innovative products online at our totally secure website, danos.com.au. You're with Network 10 as we take you back to live pictures from the United States. In fact, we'll recap momentarily. Uh, we can confirm there have been at least three terrorist attacks on the United States, essentially grounding the country to a halt, as you can see there. This was actually the second plane into the second tower. The first crash occurred, as you can see, the first tower is closest to you there at the front of screen. Plumes of smoke emanating from the top of that tower and a second plane within 20 minutes careers into the second tower of the World Trade Center. And within about an hour, or an hour and a half rather, both towers of the World Trade Center had collapsed into the street. You can see the first tower going there now. Don't forget these towers, we're talking 110 stories high, housing at least 40,000 workers and 150,000 people making their way through that center at any given time of the day. The second tower of the World Trade Center about to collapse now. As you can see, just extraordinary scenes from the United States. Designed World Trade Center. We're told from eyewitnesses that people were seen leaping from the tower minutes before these final explosions. And we're also led to believe there may well have been another explosion nearby on the streets of New York. Don't forget, this precinct was the scene of a terrorist attack back in 1993. If it's any consolation, of course, authorities in New York are well briefed and were as best as can be prepared for a situation like this. You're now seeing pictures from both Washington and New York. These are live pictures and as you can see, plenty of smoke. Not, we can't get too close to the action and uh, it looks like CNN may be crossing to one of their reporters. But uh, we would like to confirm some more detail, and that is in particular in Washington, when the Pentagon was struck, uh, we are confirming that a plane hit the helipad outside the Pentagon. Within minutes, terrorist calls were received at the White House, and the west wing of the White House was evacuated immediately. 
This does appear to be live pictures from the streets of New York. I can't yet determine whether the National Guard is there, but we are led to believe, given New York's history of terrorist attacks, there has been a coordinated plan in place for such an event, as best as you can prepare for these sorts of things. And there's an integrated approach between police, fire and, of course, health services, desperately trying to receive those and get to those injured, help any of those in great distress and alleviate some of the anxiety as best one can. One can only assume the, the absolute shock and fear that's emanating across the country. As we mentioned earlier, Aviation across the country has been ground to a halt. All takeoffs and landings have ceased. There is some concern that some of these aircraft may have been hijacked, and the only way to contain the situation is to ground everything to a halt till they can determine some details. The US president is back in Washington. He has addressed the nation and has called for calm. The FBI, as one would expect, has been dragged in immediately to try and contain the situation and a reminder that a Palestinian liberation group is claiming responsibility thus far, although that cannot be confirmed as yet. Who is responsible? Let's, cr let's cross now back to CNN for further details. Phone calls through as you look at the Pentagon and I suspect We are also getting a report as you look at these pictures of the Pentagon, and I, in all honesty, suspect you see them a little more clearly than I do, but part of the building uh, appears to me, as I look at it, to have collapsed. That's the Pentagon, and those pictures are live at 10.40 Eastern Time this morning. Uh, we have a report now of a fourth explosion at the Trade Center, and uh, Brian Palmer, our CNN correspondent, is as close as he can get to the area. Brian, what can you tell us? We are, in fact, as close as we can get uh, about, uh, I'm not going to give you an exact time frame, but several minutes ago we were standing in front of the United States Courthouse when we saw the second World Trade Center disappear from the skyline. It uh, collapsed before our eyes, again, in, in a plume of ash and, and debris. People rushed north. Uh, we had a New York City Police Department officer here with us who witnessed the first collapse, but uh, he actually had to dash off to duty. Uh, um, we've been watching people uh, crying. Uh, some people had relatives uh, in in the buildings. They they are not sure whether they are being a, whether they've been evacuated, removed from the buildings, or not. Was there, Brian? Did it sound like there was an explosion before the second collapse, or was the noise? the collapse itself well from our distance we, uh, we I was not able to distinguish between an explosion and the collapse we were uh, several hundred yards away but we clearly saw the building come down I heard your report of a fourth explosion I can't confirm that but we hear we, we heard some boom and then the building fold in on itself we are told, Brian, hang on, we are told that the Secretary of Defense is being uh, evacuated from the Pentagon. Uh, the Pentagon, a portion of the, of the Pentagon has collapsed uh, after, uh, and I'm, I'm not precisely sure on this, and I, I want to tell you when I'm not precisely sure, but apparently a plane or a helicopter hit part of the Pentagon mm -hmm. itself. As you take a look at the pictures there, I must say every time we hear a plane coming up overhead, it, it gets a little a little nervous uh, where we are. Um, whatever is happening and whoever is responsible, we have no way of knowing if it's played out yet or if it's just going on. So every time we hear a plane go by, we wonder what the situation is and where it is headed. That's how we're, we're told by a person here, they believe that is a, a fighter jet federal office buildings around the country is that correct all over the country have been closed or just in washington well we um we were not allowed into um the, fe uh, the federal courthouse here where cnn maintains a workspace the officers just said we are we're not allowing you in i think that's a security pro precaution got it uh, stay with me a little bit all federal office buildings now all federal office buildings in washington dc uh, are being evacuated as we speak to you now. Um, there are a variety of reports and it's important to try and, uh, and uh, put this in some kind of order, but the, the most important things to tell you if you're just joined in is that a, what has all the makings of a 
an extraordinary, extraordinarily well-planned terrorist attack on both Washington and New York has taken place this morning. The trade centers here in New York, the two World Trade Center towers have collapsed after being hit by a plane. Uh, Maria Hinosa joins us on the phone. She is uh, in New York, uh, down uh, near the building. Maria, what can you tell us? Well, I'm actually at St. Vincent's Hospital right now, where at about uh, 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes after the first explosion, they started seeing patients here. What I'm hearing, and I have not been in the ER yet, is that they have at least 100 patients or more that uh, several of those people were dealing with issues of smoke inhalation, many of them throwing up, that um, there were several people who went directly to the operating room who are in very critical condition. Uh, outside the hospital, people are coming in, trying to help to donate blood. Essentially, everybody here at this hospital is, is in a state of shock. I mean, I walked into the testing area, and the women here who usually just draw blood are also extraordinarily um, moved and shocked. They're moving in and out of the emergency room to try to help as many people as possible. Now, outside a block, uh, about um, a block away from here, where you really had a bird's eye view of the two twin towers, which are the landmarks of New York City, um, the people stopped, the entire traffic has stopped. People have poured out of buildings and were watching, in fact, as one of the towers collapsed. And then you're really seeing a lot of people trying to move north away from any place downtown near the world trade center area people are just walking the subways are stopped entirely all around the area of the world trade center you can't get below 14th street and there's there just feels to be like a massive exodus of people walking north to get away from the area as far away as they possibly can maria i know kitty pilgrim is with you as well right, right kitty here. tell us what you've been able to We'll um, drop out of CNN's coverage now for the minute and go to a break. Stay on 10. All the details coming up right after this. Bad girl. The truth is, that little girl wasn't such a good girl. Rich girl. The old money seems to be getting a bit arthritic. Dead girl. Two murders, one possible killer. Pick one. Law and order. 8.30 Thursday on 10. Getting rid of unwanted hair is as painful as a visit to the dentist. You rip, pluck, nick and cut. There's got to be a better way. Introducing Apple Stop Citrus Spray, the six-in-one citrus hair remover that's totally pain-free. Look, just spray the hair you want removed, then simply wipe it away. That's all you do. And you've got silky smooth skin every time. It went on smooth. It came off smooth. I was like, wow, it's a spray. Spray and wipe it away. The secret is the six-in-one citrus lotion that contains an effective hair remover, a gentle exfoliator, vitamins E and C, aloe vera, and enriched antioxidants to smooth and deeply moisturize, leaving your skin hydrated, softer, and hair-free. It's perfect for arms, legs, bikini line, underarms, and almost any other body part. And it works for women and men of all ages, long hair or short. Apple Stop Citrus Spray is even strong enough to remove tough, unsightly back hair. Just spray and wipe away. Look at the difference. Amazing. Stop shaving, stop waxing, and stop wasting money. Order Apple Stop Citrus Spray right now and never, ever worry about the pain of removing embarrassing hair again. But this offer gets better will include a second bottle absolutely free. This travel size is perfect for your purse, gym bag or luggage. That's two bottles of Apple Stop Citrus Spray for just $59.95 plus postage and handling. When you pay by credit card, you'll receive Apple Stop Citrus Roll-On. Use it just like a pencil to target and remove unwanted facial hair. Sculpt beautiful eyebrows, remove hair on your chin, or get rid of that embarrassing hair above your lip for good. A $20 value, yours free. The complete Apple Stop Citrus Hair Removal System. $100 value can be yours for just $59.95. Order now from Danos Direct on 1-800-808-938. Or check out the Apple Stop Citrus Spray, as well as hundreds of other innovative products, online at our totally secure website, danos.com.au. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Glenn's not here right now. He's at the nuclear plant. Please leave your name and number and he won't return your call. <laughs> the panel, 9.30 tonight. 
Welcome back to Network 10's coverage of this breaking story. Terrorist attacks across the United States down the eastern seaboard thus far. And, of course, the United States somewhat paralysed at this point. The vision we're showing you now is the second plane crash into the second tower of the World Trade Centre. The first tower, as you can see, alight there, plumes of smoke emanating from the top of the floor. These are 110-storey buildings. That second plane according to eyewitness reports, deliberately aiming at the centre of that building and targeting the second tower. Stay home, stay safe and, uh, and be as relaxed as Within you can. about an hour or just over an hour and a half, the first one of those two towers then collapsed into the, onto the streets of Manhattan, the second tower tumbling a short time later. We are yet to confirm casualties, injuries, the number of people who may have been killed. It is a frightening thought. These two buildings house 40,000 employees, not to mention over 150 odd thousand making their way through the building at any given time during the day. The Australian shopping centre group Westfield owning the shopping plaza downstairs. We're yet to hear if any Australians have been caught up in this drama. No doubt they have. All flights across the United States have been ceased after, of course, the New York explosions, then the Pentagon, the White House has been evacuated. Let's cro cross now back to CNN for more information. I manipulate Big Pete into doing what uh, I want to do. Extraordinary bit of information coming out of Washington now. Let me add to something. Let me add to something that we said earlier. We have a report now that a large plane crashed this morning. Uh, north of the Somerset County Airport, which is in western Pennsylvania, not too terribly far from Pittsburgh, about 80 miles or so. Uh, Boeing 767 jet, don't know whose airline it was, whose airplane it was, and we don't have any details beyond that which I have just given you. We don't know, we don't know if this is somehow connected to what has gone on in New York and Washington, but we do know that another plane has crashed this one about 80 miles south of Pittsburgh, or at least to the southeast of Pittsburgh. Rose Arcee, one of our producers here uh, in New York, joins us on the phone. Rose, what do you have that's new? Yes, uh, just a, a while ago, I think you saw that the collapse of the top of the, of the World Trade Center. Well, it looks like a large chunk of that debris has hit a building very close by, about two blocks away next to an elementary school, causing another explosion. So for the last few minutes, I've been watching people running from that direction. There was one man, well, I'm not, child. You saw on the street. I've seen several emergency service workers carrying other emergency service workers from the scene. There's a, there's a haze everywhere. It's very, very we, need to, we need to interrupt CNN's coverage here. We are led to believe another hijacked plane, a suicide mission, is on its way to the Pentagon as we speak. Minutes away from what is a second attack on the Pentagon, a fourth attack this evening in the United States. Just recapping, we are led to believe another...